Hello and welcome to the first half of Strathholm, the main gate. Oh, now, the Great Frasiabi, we need to get the quests first, of course. Quests take precedence over everything. And not precedence, precedence. So let's get all of this stuff. It's just a general kill everything, everything, everything. So, for those of you who do not know the law of Strathholm, hello all. Strathholm is... Hang on. My headphones. There we go. Very loud. Sorry. Strathholm was a human town, obviously, that Arthas, when he was a young living paladin, happened upon when he was busy dealing with the threat of the plague of undeath that was spreading across the kingdoms of Lordaeron. Arthas had already seen... Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, a town. Anyway, he'd seen a town fall to the undead plague before and knew that it was a problem and it was being uh, spread by a distributed brain that had been plagued. When he arrived at Strathholm, he found that this evil brain had already been distributed and everybody was already numbing it, so he knew that it was only a matter of time before they'd turn into horrible, horrible undead. And so he took up his paladin's hammer and took it upon himself to slaughter each and every last one of the citizens, or at least most of them, by himself before they had a chance to turn into the undead. But a dreadlord called Malganus also had similar ideas of making sure that they did become undead and adding to the king's mighty army. Arthas was pretty much successful in his endeavour, culling Strathol quite thoroughly and then just leaving the town in a state of burning which has lasted an impressive 20 or so years now by Azeroth Lord time. Why this place is now filled with undead, I'm not entirely sure, but I assume that um, either Arthas wasn't as thorough as he looked when we were playing this in Warcraft 3, or just that once the plague of undead took order on completely, um, there were just plenty of undead milling about, and they happened to just sort of show up here in this nice town that was full of rotting flesh to eat. Although, in one of the, and a particularly grim cutscene I have to say in Warcraft 3, after Arthas has left Lordaeron, you do see humans just throwing piles and piles of bodies into a fire, so there shouldn't have been that much rotting flesh around, but either way, the undead armies, or at least just the undead rabble, because these don't seem organised by any kind of scourge organisers. So it's an undead rabble rather than an undead army, and it's just sort of hanging around doing the same thing. So Arthas will be disappointed, although he won't really because he's the Lich King now. Well, he was. He's now dead, as of Cataclysm. Okay, so where are we going first off? Pretty much the right way. So, as I was saying, if indeed I was saying anything, I cannot remember. That was a big knockback, I have to say. Uh, yeah. The deal with the Scourge post Cataclysm. Oh my. Mid air charge! Fuck your physics, baby. We are in a bit of trouble here, aren't we? Yeah, the deal with the Scourge post Cataclysm is that they're no longer led by Arthas. Um, I think they're now led by... Uh, what's his name? Bolvar Fordragon. He is, of course, benevolent, maybe. And the Scourge is vastly weakened and more tame under his rule. And that's because we deliberately put him in charge because he's not evil. But even then, some of the Scourge are just a bit mindless and aggressive. I'm pretty sure... Which quest I can share? We seem to have them all. Anyway. What was I saying? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Scourge no longer have any organised leaders who are deliberately making them do naughty things. But then again, maybe they are. Maybe there's a bit of treachery and unleft unrest in the Scourge ranks because maybe Boldar Thorragon isn't very good at maintaining an iron grip. Or maybe he has indeed betrayed us. We'll have to see what Chris Metzen decides. But in this dungeon, at the very least, um, Varimath? No, not Varimathris. A demon, Balnazar, I think, a dreadlord, is um, watching over these undead fellers. And in the other half of um, Stratholm, Aureus Rivendare, who is, of course, an undead bloke, is causing ruckus. So. The Scourge threat is not entirely gone, but it's drastically weakened now that the Lich King is dead. Though, why this town is still on fire after 20 years, no one knows. Where is the quest? Uh, oops. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to type. I'm just going to tank. No typing, more tanking. I hope that everything goes okay for me. So this is Fraz Siavi. He's not actually a boss. He's just a, a quest below. He doesn't even appear if you're not on the quest. And he doesn't do anything. Well, he, he threw a smoke bomb. Other than that, there's nothing. Has no loot. It's just for his tobacco. I... All the que quests were given at the start. The tobacco is on his corpse. And if he still doesn't understand, then he is beyond help. Beyond help. Which I suspect he probably is. Because... Oh no, he did it! Atta boy. Oh! Who ran in without me? Come on, Mini Pill! Oh dear. I was sort of waiting for some in there to catch up with us so we could all go in there at once, but Mini Pill! He was too eager. I notice I still have a weird backpack thing. I don't know if this is related to anything I'm currently doing in uh, A Thousand Needles. Yeah, this must be the ice cream gyro cannon. Gosh, have I had that the whole time then? During whole of last video that I haven't noticed? Oh well, here we go. Come on! There we go. My buttons must work. I demand it. I demand it. Use all those AOE skills. Oh! Stupid, incredible knockback. Come on now. Let's get this under control. Stupid skeletal guardians. Yes, I'm pronouncing your name Skeletal. What are you going to do about it? Cry. Anyway, everything's going well, I think. God help me, I don't know. Revenge, 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 revenge. To you too, sir, little pet. Missed escape. Oh my! I will end your life, plague ghoul! Lovely. Lovely, jubbly, wobbly, bubbly. So what have we got here? I the un it's Timmy the Cruel, and this... I don't like this. Timmy! Yay! It's a South Park reference. South Park is just a terrible, terrible show. And 
Timmy is even worse. The years, those years in primary school, when children would scream Timmy at the top of their lungs and think themselves somehow amusing. And what's worse, this sometimes still occasionally happens even though I am 20. Why do people think that this shit is amusing? It's just not, and for that Timmy the Cruel you will die. As will you, Chris Metzen, for even allowing this. Stupid South Park. It's just so egregiously hateful. I like my comedy to revolve around love. Though, I don't like romantic comedies. What I'm saying is... Comedies that build themselves around just hating everyone and anyone are dull. So very, very dull. Ugh, it's too dull to even imagine. Anyway. I'm looking at you. Everything ever done by Seth MacFarlane at any point in history. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lot of undead here, so they do look like they're in some kind of organized rank, don't they? So I guess they are being Well they were they were a mindless rabble at the start, and now they're looking a bit more organized. So I guess the closer we're getting to Valve then the more army-like they is becoming. So he must be controlling them. I'd probably know he was controlling them if I just did something wild like Red from West text, but you don't really have time to do that in a dungeon. I mean, good lord, if I just sat around reading the quest text, I would be group kicked faster than you could say, hang on guys, I'm just trying to figure out the lore behind this dungeon we are doing at this particular moment. Admittedly, that does take a few seconds to say, which actually just means that it's not hyperbole. That is the real amount of time it takes before you get kicked for inactivity. Damn, Marsh, you're probably screwing up your recording. Not screwing up, sir. Yeah, that was typing. Okay. Come on. I'll um, just randomly taunt people and hope that makes me a good tank. Oh dear. Come on! Come at me! Well, not bros, because some of you are female. So, bros and sisters? I don't want to say parents, because that is just a little bit imbalanced. Bro is a friendly term, Po is an incredibly hostile term, or it's a piece of farming equipment. So, I need there to be consistency. So,. If someone can think of something friendly that rhymes with bros that can count for women, email me at fnidgagado at geborgen.com. Oh, I missed the Unforgiven. Hang on. Oopsie, we missed the Unforgiven. Shall we go get him? I wonder why they beat each other up. That was random. Well, I'm gonna go head back towards the Unforgiven and see what this group does about it. Are they going to follow me, or am I going to get a group kick faster than you can say? We don't care about no quests, we just want our satchel of exotic mysteries. But no, it looks like they're following me. Yes, I am truly the leader of this group. <laughs> I lead and they follow. It is a feeling of immense power. I feel big in every sense of the word. Off we go. There is Kirigama. My dear, dear friend, Elise. Whom I met many years ago on this very game and whose wedding I have since attended. And even spoken, it was the most nerve-wracking thing that's ever happened, except for most other things. 
My nerves are quick to rack. Some people have nerves of steel. I have nerves of... You know those bits that hang on the end of, like, doggy toys? Like those balls with the weird fibrous wormy bits on the end? That's what my nerves are made of. And it serves me well. Her play session was perhaps the shortest in recording history. When World of Warcraft, when Blizzard say that our game is so accessible to the casuals you can hop in for just a second and get something done, they mean it. Although she has now hopped onto another character. Oh my, there are ghosts! Suddenly ghosts! Where did they come from? Where will they go? Why am I trying to quote the button I know? Oh, the Unforgiven! Here he is! Awesome! Hello, Mr. Forgiven! You are not! Stop parrying and dodging everything I'm trying to do to you! I'm trying to stack, sunder, armor! But you're not making it easy! Oh! I don't even have that many things I need to stack on you, but he's dodging me so much that I can't even get that done. It must be because he's orange, isn't it? Perhaps I should level up a little bit more before I try to bite off more than I can assume. But no, I'll fight through the frustration and the pain. I will not forgive him for being a dodgy, dodgy bastard. And I will end his miserable undeath by somehow hitting him with axes and maces, even though he's probably incorporeal. Okay, ooh. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Let's do it. Let's make this happen. They better look cool. They will do. The living are here! The living! Somebody put out a spread! The living are here! They came without warning, as they do, those rude, rude living! Where do we keep the Doritos? The living are here! Living! Sorry. If at first a joke isn't particularly funny, repeat it four or five times, just to be sure. Okay, in we go. To the Bastion door. Or I guess the Bastion. We're not going into the door, we're going through the door to what is inside it. Yes. Are we ready? Where is my team? Team? Okay, that's enough of my team. Oh my! Who did this? Damn you, team! Team! Come on, damn it. No! I missed an opportunity to use revenge. <coughs> now I'm going to die. Because my life force is inextricably linked to revenge. Here we go then. Stun you. What are you going to do about it? You're going to do nothing about it. Oh my. Who is doing this? This is definitely not me. I am not the one causing this to happen. Come on. Oh, this. How am I going to keep aggro on this many people? Just spam the buttons. Spam all the buttons. Every button I know. Just keep on going. It doesn't matter if the buttons I'm spamming are not making any sense. I'm just going to spam them until there's nothing left to spam. I've been disarmed as well. What? Dragadur is this? Okay, there we go. Victory run. Huh. Evidently, some DPS or another is trying to make a commentary that I don't live on the wild side. You know what? 
dungeons should not be wild. They should be a controlled experience in which we ridiculously slaughter our way through a gauntlet. If you try to sequence break and pull off more than we could possibly do, we're just going to end up dead! You know what dead people achieve? Nothing! Unless they are artists, in which case that is when their career really starts to take off. Such is life. But Commander Malor, he is no artist, he is a commander. So once he is dead, no one will remember his name except for me, because I remember Burr. Burr, what the hell for thought? I've had an allergic reaction to the bullshit I'm spouting every day. He goes down, he goes down, he goes! What? No loot? This crime is unforgivable. You disgust me. This is pretty much Scarlet Monastery, this particular room layout, which I I approve of, and yet don't, dis uh, don't approve of, because... These room layouts, they are scary. I need a heal. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, friend. I need to not be disarmed. Spam all the guns. Sure can just go online. It's good. I saw the yellow text and I thought someone had died. So it's good to know that it's just dear old Sure can coming to have a damn good time in Azeroth. Because everyone has a damn good time in Azeroth. Even the people who claim that they don't. They're just having a damn good time bitching. Some people just seem to love doing that. So. Yeah, this World of Warcraft is the worst game I've ever played. That's why I've subscribed to it for four years solid now. Alright, so... We've got to go down here first, and then down there. Suits me. By the way, if I have any viewers who can speak Flemish, do let me know if they're talking shit about me when I can't read it. Because I suspect that they do. It just seems likely. That's good. It's nice to know that all of these mobs are on me, even though I haven't done any coherent tanking since I started this dungeon, really. I've just been mashing everything. Mash all the things! And get your rotation wrong, you have one simple task, you fail to do it. The simple task is to rend before Thunder Clapping, but no! Better use last stand, because I appear to be in some kind of trouble. But no, the second I used last stand I was healed, thus rendering that bit of cleverness completely moot. But yeah, this is definitely... It's not an organised army though, is it? It's rather... Well, organised, just not well equipped. I'm going to use boxes. Pardon me. Now I wonder... I am wondering, what I'm wondering guys is... Have these... Were these boxes always here, like before we got here? Have they just been hiding around in this... This fortress bastion before we got here? Or have they heard tales of our exploits outside, and all our slaughters outside, and have been quickly assembling barricades. Because obviously Blizzard can't show things happen in real time, so they have to imply these things. Do you think that's what's going on? Or do you think they have just been hanging around with lots of boxes? I like the idea that they're hastily set up barricades. So that's what I choose to believe exists, but my word is not law. So make up your own minds and hope, ladies and gentlemen. And once you have made up your minds, send up, send what you have made up to my email address that you don't know, and I will see which opinion is the more popular one, and whoever is part of the more popular opinion will win a lollipop. Chup chup, good stuff. Um, any flavour you want. Um, yeah, so... Do do that. Willy Hope Breaker! <laughs> Willy Hope Breaker, won't he Hope Breaker? <laughs> ah, Willy. Really. What a
what a suggestive name. Particularly in my country. So Blizzard, they know full well what that word would mean. Consider this, people who are wondering why Blizzard is uh, why World of Warcraft is appropriate for people of all ages, or at least 12 and There is a pet in this game called Willy. He is a beholder. A beholder is, to describe its physiology, uh, to describe its appearance, I'll say, a one-eyed monster. So they have a pet one-eyed monster called Willy, and they are just going to shamelessly allow that to be a thing. Oh, Chris Metzen. Willy's back scratcher, that just sounds all kind of suspect. This, on the other hand, this looks like the sort of thing I would want, so give it to me. Da oh, no. Yes. I was about to curse you forever, Ras, but it was the other bit of loop that you wanted. So. Ooh, a risen hap. Um. Aha. Beautiful. I almost didn't complete the quest. Would have just broken my heart six ways from Saturday. I'm trying to think of other sneakily obscene pets that this have, because I know that there's quite a few. Ah, my memory's always so blank when I am running these dungeons. So all that's left now is to get a book called Of Love and Family. And then we have to kill Balnazar, which I'm disappointed in his name, I have to say. I mean, I know they have quite a few generic fantasy names in this game, but Balnazar just strikes me as the single most generic baddie name in the history of history. And I really, I associate the name Balnazar with bad quality fantasy. Just because of the things I've read before that have had characters called Balthazar, or Balthazar, or just things with those general syllables in them. So I don't know what your thoughts on this are. But I have a deep, deep aversion to that name. It makes my blood boil. It makes the seas part. Which I guess would make me Moses. So... Blizzard's decision to name a character Balnazar has turned me into some kind of prophet, which I can, I can get behind, I suppose. I would like to be wise and awesome. Where did you fellows get off to? I didn't lose aggro or anything, so still on me. They must have just had a skip around for no reason whatsoever. But yes, Stratholm. It's nice, isn't it? We have a nice burning city, and then Scarlet Monastery, the Red Rites. It's awesome, I love Scarlet Monastery. So give me more of that. Make it heroic in Miss Pandaria Blizzard. Now that's one of the things, actually. One of the things that has been announced for Miss Pandaria is that the Scholomance is going to be made into heroic into a heroic, which strikes me as really random, because the Scourge threat is pretty much subdued. Scholomance has nothing to do with Pandaria. It's just randomly in somewhere that's nowhere near Pandaria. It's just it's in the Western Playgrounds, and it's just sort of there. It's a school for the undead in the middle of an island, which we have cleared out. So why that's suddenly getting? I mean, Silver um, uh, Shadowfang Keep and the Dead Mines becoming heroics in Cataclysm kind of made sense because the storylines for Silverpine and um, Westfall were updated quite a bit. So Silverpine went from a castle, uh, not Silverpine, Shadowfang Keep went from a castle that was 
in the possession of a crazed mage into a castle that was in the possession of a crazed forsaken. And Dead Minds was taken over by the previous leader's daughter, who, despite her claims that she couldn't fight as well as her father, was in fact a heroic mode only boss, and therefore technically many levels higher than her father, and infinite amounts stronger, but um, it's just game mechanics, levels don't really factor into story, as Blizzard have said themselves, and that's the final boss, Balnazar, he's pretty cool looking, we'll get to him. Anyway, what I was previously saying is that so far there's been nothing I've heard about Mists of Pandaria that makes it sound like that the undead stories are going to progress in any way, so I guess either it's okay, either it's going to be a very random heroic, or there is going to be some kind of story development there, which it would be cool, actually. Because just because the Lich King is dead, as you can see, doesn't mean the Scourge is gone, so it would be nice to see if old Metzano continues to touch upon what they're getting up to these days. Perhaps with them no longer having a unified king, there are indeed splintered factions of different Scourge guys trying to take control and all those other things I suggested earlier. It would be, it'd be interesting to see, but it just seems to overall not fit in with the whole discovering Panda's new island thing. Whereas the updates to the stories of Silver Pine and Westfall made sense because Cataclysm was all about the... Well, it was all about every storyline moving forward. Here it is. Oh, it's not a book, it's a painting. I assumed it was a book. There we go. So, Of Love and Family is a painting of two... Planets? Two celestial bodies. How lovely. So, anyway... It's time to kick the ass of this cool-looking demon. So Balnazar, he himself, the lore behind him, because I don't know the boss tactics, so I'm just going to spout lore at you. He is one of the four, I think, four or five red lords that was working for the Lich King in Warcraft 3. There was Malganis, Balnazar, Deathrock, Varimathras. That's it, yeah. I think he was um, the leader of them, and when Lady Sylvanas got her own free will back and went from being scourged to Forsaken, she led a sort of guerrilla warfare against the King's forces, which included taking down these dreadlords, and she managed to capture Varimathras, and under threatening to kill him, got him to swear his loyalty to her, and in order to prove his loyalty, uh, she had Varimathras kill Balnazar, which he was reluctant to do, but did it in the end. But obviously, Balnazar is still alive, which is an, sort of an early hint of, of Varimathras' eventual betrayal. He was never on our side, it would seem. And you saw Slims get mind controlled, so I guess. I guess mind controls are. Well, that's clearly for me, so I'll just take it. Mind controls are what he did, but yeah, so that was some nice lore for you, I hope. I hope I didn't. I had, to, I had to hurry up at the end there because I realised he was dying, but hopefully that was all the lore you needed. So let us turn in these quests and see what's what. I'm about to ding! Oh, fantastic. Dinging is the... Ooh. That looks like a well-needed piece of gear. Let us go for it. Legards of Stratholm. And you there. Great for Sabi. Uh, is that everything? No, there's another... Question mark? Here they are. Be good. Anyway, thank you for watching me do that dungeon. I hope it wasn't too much of a me rambling on about lore and what I think is going on with the undead, but this is one of the few dungeons where I conclusively I can conclusively say I pretty much know what's going on and why it's here. So thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you later.